In this video, we're looking at logarithms. We're going to look at four examples ranging in difficulty and context. But before we get to these four examples, we're just going to do a brief introduction about what logarithms are all about. So simply put, a logarithm is when we are looking at the power of a number. So take, for example, the equation x is equal to uh, 3 to the power of 4. So in other words, that means x is equal to 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. You're multiplying 3 by itself 4 times, which is 81. So logs are, looking, are going to help us now look at that power. So imagine the question was asked in a slightly different way. Imagine they gave us the context of 81 is equal to 3 to the power of n. So in this scenario, they're asking us to find the power. What is that missing power? And this is where logarithms are handy, or logs as we commonly might call them from now on. So 81 is equal to 3 to the power of, of n. So using the rules from our log tables on page 21, up the top right hand corner, our first rule that we're going to look at is a to the power of x is equal to y is equivalent to log of y to the base a is equal to x. So this is the rule here that's going to help me to solve for my power of n. So matching these up here, I have 3 to the power of n is equal to 81. And this is equivalent to the log of y. Well, my y is my 81 and my base is my a, which is going to be 3. And that's equal to uh, x is what I'm trying to solve for, which is n. So I then go to my calculator and I type in log of 81 to the base 3. And that's going to solve then for n. So on my calculator, that's giving me 4. So basically, what does that mean? This is telling us that 4 is the power. In other words, 3 to the power of 4 is equal to my 81. And that's kind of what we had over here a few minutes ago. So I'm using my logs here to help me solve for that missing power. So we're just going to go back up here now and have a look at those other four examples of how to add and subtract and deal with multiples inside logs. So the first example is asking us to solve for x, where 5x is equal to 500. Uh, so I'm just going to copy back in that top right hand rule from page 21 again. So a to the x equals y is equivalent to log of y to the base a is equal to x. So once again, just matching these up, I have 5 to the x is equal to my 500 is equivalent to the log of y, which is 500 to the base a, which is 5, is equal to my x, which is my missing power. So going to my calculator and typing in log of 500 to the base 5 should get me my value for x, or in other words, my power. And that's getting me a value of 3.86 on my calculator. So that's my missing power. So in other words, what does that mean? That's telling me that 5 to the power of 3.86 is equal to 500. Now I've just given it to two decimal points, so it's slightly off, but that's what the logs are finding me there. Coming over now and having a look at another example. Example two is just asking us to simplify log of nine to the base two, subtract log of three to the base two. So unfortunately, when you're subtracting or adding logarithms, you can't just go nine, subtract three and get six. We have to go to page 21 in the log tables and use those rules again. And we have to find the rule that deals with subtraction. So I'm just going to copy in the rule now. So as you can see, in order to subtract logarithms, you need to divide the 9 and the 3. So setting this up for my example, it's going to be log of 9 over 3 to the base a is going to be 2. So that's getting log of 9 divided by 3 is 3 to the base 2. Going to my calculator and evaluating that, I'm getting log 3 to the base 2 is working out as to one decimal point, or sorry, two decimal points I'll go to, 1.58. So once again, let's just explain what that means. That basically means that 2 to the power of 1.58 is equal to 3. And if you want to check these, go to your calculator and type in log of 9 to the base 2, subtract log of 3 to the base 2, and it should be the same answer. Moving over now to example 3. So it's asking us to simplify log of 8 to the base 7 plus 2 times log of 2 to the base 7. 
So before we get into addition of logs, we need to deal with this factor of two here. We need to isolate that. So we can't just add our logs by multiplying the X by the Y. We need to deal with that two first of all. So again, I'm just going to copy in the rule for my log tables that deals with that. So I'm just isolating this part here now and just dealing with it. And in order to rewrite two times log of, seven, of two to the base seven, you can see here that the Q is the uh, multiple which of two, which is two in this case. So how can we rewrite that? It's going to be log of x to the power of q. So my x is two to the power of q, which is also two, and my base of a, which is seven. So that's me rewriting it. So now I'm just going to rewrite the full line again. So it's going to be log of eight to the base seven plus log of two to the power of two, which is actually four to the base seven. So that's rearranged the two times log of two to the base seven. Now I'm going to deal with the addition of the logs and to add logs from page 21, it tells you to multiply. So it's going to be log of eight times four to the base seven, which is going to give me log of eight times four, which is 32. And going to my log tables and typing in log of 32 to the base seven is giving me 1.78. And that's example three. So just be careful in those examples that if there's a multiplier in front of the log, you have to deal with that first before you can add or subtract. So this final example is just getting you to solve for t here. So you could go off and, f and type that into your calculator, log of 32 to the base two, but just to kind of show you what it's uh, getting you to do here, to, just to understand. I'm coming back to this important rule from page 21. And if I fill in my uh, rule here, it's going to be my a, which is two to the power of x, which is t is equal to my y, um, which is my 32. So what this question is basically getting you to evaluate two to the power of what is equal to 32. And when you type that into your calculator, uh, log of 32 to the base two, you get five. So in other words, it's two to the power of five is equal to 32. So that's what the logarithms are getting you to deal with. They're trying to get you to find uh, that missing power. So that's a quick introduction to logarithms and four uh, introduction, uh, introductory examples.